Christmas Eve today. So anyone who has a large family or is a mum knows that Christmas Eve is not the nice, relaxing, easy lead up to Christmas that it'd be nice if it was. It's actually the day that you get as much as you possibly can get done so that on Christmas Day you might be able to have a little bit of time out. So we've got lots planned for today and I thought I'd bring you along. Um, I have a list and a myriad of things that I've already gotten done that just needs to be collated today and things like that. So I will share with you our Christmas Eve. The kids have stockings to make today as well and sugar cookies to decorate and things like that. So here we go. First thing up for today is I need to make yogurt for the kids. All right, we make yogurt in two liter lots. We use a Green Living Australia uh, yogurt maker. It's just a plug-in one, no timer or anything else. It's just basically a, a thermos electrical element in there that keeps it at a regulated temperature. So we have a two liter pot. Scales, I put in 100 grams of milk powder. We use long life milk, so I put in a litre of long life milk. And then I grab a whisk. Then I just whisk that milk powder into the milk. Add few drops of calcium chloride this just helps it to thicken up and then a tiny tiny smidgen of culture whisk it all together and add the other liter of milk Enough, please. Whisk that together. You can use a quarter of a cup of the old yogurt rather than the culture if you have it, um, but we rarely have it around for me to be able to do that. You need egg. We just place the lid on the pot and then it goes it straight into the thermos. Lid on and then plugged in and a little green light well it's orange little orange light down the bottom lights up when it's on and we leave ours for about 24 hours so it just sits on my bench here for around about 24 hours and then it's done once the 24 hours is up we just pull the whole tub out and just stick it in the fridge for i don't know about it has to be sort of six hours is for the whole thing to chill and firm up and then i normally add a jar of the homemade low sugar jam to it to sweeten it up for the kids. Going to put together a dairy free brownie, well we're going to use ghee so it's low dairy brownie which is fine for the kids, they're going to be eating really small portions of it and going to use it to add to the trifles. So it's just a basic brownie, I've got leftover raspberry pulp from making the cordial still too so I'm going to use that as a swirl in the top. brownies in the oven. Next job is to roll out the sugar cookie dough and um, make as many cookies as I can for them to decorate. Now my oven will fit a half sheet and a quarter sheet at the same time so I'll fill the aim is to fill both of them up with one lot. You can tell you got kids when you open the cookie dough and you see this. <laughs> so obviously children have had their fingers in it not that it really matters they're the ones eating it anyway but I'm gonna roll that out now and put it on the trays ready for the oven.
or any brownie is out of the oven and sugar are ready to go in. Had a short pause for lunch and um, I have the sugar cookies and the brownie cooling under covers and I've just realized that the best before date on the last of the chicken that I purchased in our monthly run is tomorrow so I'm going to make up a big batch of dry rub for that and stick it all in the smoker so that I don't have to worry about it tomorrow gets it all done and dusted um, I've run out of brown sugar so I'm going to make some brown sugar first which is just raw sugar with some molasses blended in the thermix about speed four <clears throat> and then I'll mix up all the spices to make the rub, a little bit of olive oil, spices, and all the breasts loaded onto the trays for the smoker. Here we go, brown sugar. Just going to pour some molasses in top. I like my sugar fairly dark, so I'm pretty generous with the molasses. And then on the thermomix, a speed four. There we go, get some light there. And there we go, brown sugar. Alrighty, about four o'clock. Daryl is four of the six bikes in and loving it. <laughs> um, I've been working on the limes. So I've worked through most of the limes, taken the zest off and juiced a whole bunch. There's two silicon ice trays of juice in the freezer. And then I've sliced the rest of them and put them on a tray and I'm going to freeze those there's uh, four layers there I think whole lot of zest here and the rest of the juice here that juice I'm going to use to make some more cordial but we've still got this many limes to go uh, also made the royal icing for the biscuits so I'm going to color that now for the kids and then they can decorate their star biscuits um, there's smoke, plenty of smoked chicken, so we'll probably just have that salad for dinner. I still have to put the trifles together, though, though I probably can do that in the morning if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to make some 
overnight sourdough pancake batter as well for tomorrow morning. The less food dye the better, so we went with pastel colours and we bought little uh, icing bags. We'll see how the kids manage with it, but it should be interesting. Here we go, four piping bags, let's see how the kids manage with them. Kids are having their baths so they can get into their Christmas Eve jammies. I'm going to make some uh, marshmallow fluff that they can have on their hot chocolate when they're watching their Christmas movie. Just, you know, more sugar for the day. Marshmallow fluff is from Three Rivers Homestead. It's the first time I've tried it. Cup of hot water, three tablespoons of gelatin, and then a cup of honey or maple syrup and whisked with the KitchenAid for 10 minutes. So we'll see how it goes. So there you go, it's liquid. All the liquid's in there. I'm about to stick it on the stand mixer. And this is after 10 minutes. Let me juggle here. There we go. So nice stiff peaks. looks really good and dairy free so everyone can have it So we ended up with two containers of the marshmallow fluff. This stuff is awesome. This is really cool. So kids will really enjoy that today, tomorrow, whatever. Uh, it'll take a while to eat, which is fine. I made quick mayo, quick stick blender mayo uh, with the egg yolks that were left over from the royal icing for the biscuits. And they actually showed some control because there is leftover icing from the biscuits as well. So I'm not sure we I mean, have to look up how I store this, whether I can store it or whether it's not really useful, but I don't really need them to eat anymore anyway, so we might just discard this, clean the, clean the piping bags out for next time's use. Uh, and the limes, I'm gonna stick that in the freezer to set and then I will, to freeze, and then I will pull it all out and stick it in jars and Ziploc bags, that sort of thing. Also have the berries, um, sitting in the sugar syrup for the cordial that we'll mash and strain tomorrow. Also have all the kids creations underneath the things to, oh look the fly got in because I lifted it up, to keep the flies out so they have time to set. Dinner tonight simple, we're using some of the smoked chicken with salad, just nice and easy, bit of homemade mayo, simple light sort of a dinner to um, finish the day off. I was gonna come out and do the trifles up and the um, the pancake mix and all that sort of thing and then it started raining um, and raining quite a lot so we've had like 20 mils in 45 minutes or so and everything is flooded all the benches are wet and there's not much I can do so I will um, have to do more in the morning and we'll have to end it there 
uh, thank you for coming with me today on our Christmas Eve. The kids are all enjoying their hot chocolate with the marshmallow fluff and watching Die Hard. And then they will be sent to bed and we will have to do things like the present wrapping and stuff like that. Yay! So the six bikes got put together at least though. They haven't been allowed to ride them yet because they have to have helmets which are in the presents for tomorrow. So we'll see how they go then and I'll get some footage of that as well. Alrighty, see you later.